Hi everyone and welcome to the Western Illinois University School of Agriculture podcast where I, Lori Jackson, interview our alumni and students of all ages and backgrounds. Today's guest is another alumni member, Jennifer Beard. Welcome Jennifer and thanks so much for joining us today. Well thank you. Great to be here. Happy to be back on campus. Love coming to WIU. Yeah, we're so excited to have you today. Jennifer is another one of our advisory board members, so if you guys listened in, you heard from our first advisory board member for our first podcast. Um, Jennifer stays very involved in the School of Ag from afar, so how does it feel to be back on campus? I love it. Uh, we try to come back every once in a while. We come to uh, football games and tailgating, um, had kids that have gone here, kids that are going here, and uh, we try to get down here a couple times a month. Yeah. So I know since you're back all the time, have you noticed any changes over the years since you were a student here at Western? There have been some changes. I feel like Knobloch feels a lot of the same that it was uh, when I was here back in the 90s. And uh, probably looks the same, right? It looks the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I feel that it's still very warm and inviting, mm -hmm. uh, which I felt uh, the benefit of when I was here um, way back in the 90s. Just uh, everybody's friendly. It seems very different than um, going on to other campuses and um, those environments are different than what I feel is here. Yeah, and I think that's why a lot of students choose to come to Western. Exactly. I agree. I, f I feel it's the um, rural atmosphere uh, that you have a comfort level and uh, you just feel like you can fit in. Uh, it takes all walks of life to be here and um, just uh, very inviting and uh, comfortable. Yeah, and I'm assuming your whole family agrees since it's kind of a family affair to attend Western? It has been a family affair. My husband and I both came to Western together and then um, uh, my oldest son, he decided to come to Western for his junior and senior year, um, transferred in from Black Hawk East. Uh, he met his now wife, here for, at Western, and uh, now I have a son who is a freshman. So yeah, it's kind of a family affair. We like to wear a lot of purple at our house. <laughs> I'd say so. I hope you have some clothes left over from when you were in college. You wear to those football games. So could you tell us a little bit about your college journey at Western and how it led you to where you are today? Wow, what a great question. Um, WIU definitely gave me the foundation that I needed uh, to get established. Um, I'm a farm girl, grew up showing cattle, uh, was very comfortable here on campus, became uh, very active. I joined a social sorority right off the bat my freshman year, uh, but also became very active in the ag department. I uh, really wanted to be um, a good student and uh, I wanted to be highly involved. So um, I was involved in our parents weekend uh, and then was also involved in the Ag Fraternity Alpha Zeta. So I was the president of that uh, for a year. Um, but uh, just being involved in, in small classes, uh, you got to know the professors and really gained some valuable um, relationships with some of those. Uh, uh, allowed me the the fact that I was so close with several that um, we were able to work out a summer internship program with the Knox County Farm Bureau and I was able to get 15 hours of credit just for that full-time job over the summer and I it allowed me to graduate a semester early so it was probably one of those first pioneers to uh, to have something like that established. Mm -hmm. Usually you got five to six hours and I worked really hard and closely with professors to get that accomplished. So I could get on my merry way and uh, get married um, and start a career uh, that much earlier, which uh, led to the Illinois Farm Bureau. I was, um, by, I graduated in December and in February I had started with the Illinois Farm Bureau in March, I was hired to manage a county farm bureau in Northern Illinois. And then two years after that, I managed Knox County. So I was uh, in the farm bureau for um, 10 years and then uh, moved into banking thereafter. So moved, the ladder, moved up the ladder in the bank. Yeah. 
as well. It seems like it happened so fast. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure it flew by. It did. Were there any professors on campus that really made an impact on your career choices? So, yes. Um, I'd have to say uh, Dr. Brees. Uh, I never had him for a professor, but he was one of those that was just very inviting and engaging and uh, pushed to make you succeed and uh, uh, kind of served as a mentor in a lot of ways. And he really advocated for, um, uh, for me and uh, getting uh, some, some great opportunities. And um, Dr. Carlson was the chairman of the department at that time. And uh, he was uh, a great uh, leader at that time. Uh, did a lot for the ag department and for the students so yeah it's very fortunate to have them yeah i wasn't as fortunate i guess but the professors i did have were awesome that are here today and i agree it's if anything hasn't changed it's the environment the professors that one-on-one -on -one experience and they're all awesome but i know you mentioned you felt that he was a mentor to you and i remember us talking about you are a mentor currently and were last year. So could you tell us a bit about that? Yes, that's a, a fairly new uh, program, I think, that Jana has established and I feel very fortunate to be uh, involved in that for my second year. I was um, excited to be involved last year and had some success with uh, one of the, the freshmen. And, and again, I'm down here on campus uh, for this podcast today and, and gonna take my mentee out for dinner and, and try to help uh, him with some of the maybe some of the struggles he's having and and maybe uh, here's some of the good things that he's doing too so excited about that tonight yeah I think it's awesome that you're staying involved on campus and within the ag department and with our new incoming students too so I'm glad you guys get to meet in person and hang out for a little bit and get to know one another so I know you're big on getting involved on campus so what piece of advice would you give a current college student I think the piece of advice that I could give a current college student is to say yes, to be actively involved. Um, you get what you give in anything in life and what you put into something is what you're going to get out. And that goes with your college studies. Uh, if you're going to study, you're going to get good grades. Uh, if you're going to do your homework, you're going to get good grades. But everything that we do um, helps determine who we're going to be. And still to this day, um, uh, I, I live actively by that because if you're giving 100%, then you're going to get 100% and then some. So being involved, uh, whether it's through the Hoof and Horn Club or the Sigma Alpha sorority, um, which I was a charter member of 25 or 26 mm -hmm. years ago, um, whatever you put into those organizations, it's going to give you that much more back because you're going to be exposed to things uh, and to people and to opportunities and doors that are going to open. Um, you're going to learn leadership. You're going to learn um, responsibility. Uh, you're going to learn how to deal with people. Um, and all of those uh, traits are things that you need as you uh, enter the, the real world after college. And Fortunately, I, I, I found that here at WIU, and I, I wish that for everybody that, uh, that, that comes through, you know, Knobloch Hall. So mm -hmm. um, just get involved. Yeah, I agree 100%. I think that's something we really try to push on campus, whether it's through our over 200 organizations on campus, or if you want to stay within the Ag Department, we have over 15 student organizations. We have careers on campus, on the farm, and I think there's just so many ways to get involved. And I think it really makes an impact on their career after college. So I hope our listeners actually take that <laughs> advice and use it. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us today, Jennifer. It was a pleasure having you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me.